So this one says, the tip of a nail exerts tremendous pressure when hit by a hammer because it exerts a large force over a small. Uh, so what force must be, oh, yeah. Let me finish reading the question and then I'll start commenting. What force must be exerted on a nail with a circular tip of some diameter, D, uh, to create a pressure of this much? Okay. It's high pressure pattern because it's striking in the bottom right hand. Okay. Um, so where it says the thing about the tremendous pressure and large force over a small area, I hope this is... Um, so this is meant to uh, get you to think about the definition of pressure. We define pressure this way. Pressure is defined as force per area. Uh, in fact, that's right in the unit, Newton per meter squared. Uh, they were trying to help you, I guess, because they could have told you this is Pascal. That's the unit of pressure. And one Pascal is simply Newton per meter squared, the basic SI unit stuff. So yeah, um, so this is the expression, definition of pressure that you are thinking of, of and getting to. Now, we don't want this expression because we are given pressure. We are not asked the pressure. So we want to solve this for force here. So I can do that by multiplying both sides by area. And when I solve for force, I get force is pressure times area. And that's actually a common expression that we'll use from time to time whenever we need to figure out the force from pressure to do our usual mechanics and stuff. So we have the pressure. Uh, we need to be able to calculate the area. So we are given the diameter, but not the area. So we'll need an expression for area of a circle, um, which is pi r squared, but we are not given r directly. So let me just do a bit of a simplification here and say pi the diameter divided by 2 or radius squared. So that's going to be the area of the circle. Get that. Multiply that by pressure. That will give me the force. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so let me plug in the numbers. Um, I have pressure 7 times 10 to the power of 9 in the pressure unit times the area, which should be pi. Um, times uh, the diameter, 1.00 millimeter. Oh, I need to convert that to meters so that the units will work out properly. So one millimeter is a thousandth of a meter or 0 0.001 meter. That's a millimeter. Divide by two, uh, square it. That's my area. And I have a feeling if I just press enter, it'll yeah, give me something in, unit of pi, so let me go back and put this through a numerical approximation function. So it'll just plug in 3.1 for whatever for pi and just give me a decimal number that I can uh, put into the answer thing there. Okay, 5498 Newton. And it's pretty large, so that's uh, the weight of uh, someone or something that's like 550 kilograms. That's like uh, uh, something like three of me, maybe. Wait, how many kilograms am I? Am I on? No, I'm not 100 kilograms. So I think it's, uh, yeah, it, it's a fairly large force. Uh, and I guess that's, a, um, that's what the, this comment is getting at. This high pressure is possible because, so, you know, it's not, the hammer is not applying this, force or this pressure for a long duration of time. It's at a very short amount of time. Uh, and it, this is referring to short distance. Uh, I would just said time to refer to the impulse that the hammer, uh, hammer transfers to the nail. Anyways, so it's a definition of pressure question.